everyone. It's Susan Kennedy here from the beautiful sunny Gold Coast in Australia. So today I am, don't even know what I'm doing today. Yeah, I do actually. I'm just saying that. So I'm going to have a little bit of a chat first, as I always do, before I bring my first couple of callers on. And interesting today what I've got, I'm going to do something a little bit different that I've never done before. Oh, my God, what if it doesn't work? And it's so interesting at the moment because Skype is different. So as I'm looking at the screen, everything is ran the wrong way. And it's funny that when things change in life, we change and we're not sure really what to do. Anyway, what I'm going to show you is a little exercise that I do with some of my students because obviously I don't just read, I teach women, I teach men how to become happier individuals and how to bring the intuition into their everyday lives. But one of the, th one of the exercises that we do is to do a timeline of your life and there's a reason for this because often in life we, we can think that we've had things hard and we could try maybe to hide who we are. So when you do a timeline of your life, that's sort of the things that I just did. Just quickly, I just got a piece of paper like this and I just folded it in half that way and I just wrote down very quickly all the major events in my life. And it's really interesting even for me to do this exercise because I always surprise myself. But the interesting things that I wrote down were, okay, so when I was six, I left London. Then I left home at 16. Then I left the United Kingdom at 22 and came to Australia. Then I left Sydney at 29 and moved to Newcastle. And then I got married again for the second time. And then I left Australia again in 2000. I went to live in Vanuatu over in the Pacific Islands. But it's interesting, all the way up to there, everything that I wrote was about when I left. So that's probably two-thirds of my life. Then um, what I did then was I wrote the things that are happening now, and there were things like I found or I did. So I, um, I found me was the big thing I wrote there. I went to the United Kingdom. I went back home. I've been back three or four times. I went to Cancun last year. I went to San Diego this year. I'm going to India next year. I moved from New South Wales to Queensland. So this part of my life, when, since I found me, I noticed I'm moving more towards things. So it's really an interesting exercise for you to do because what it's about really is being, it's your awareness of your life and it's about being present so that when you're present with yourself, you don't try and forget anything that's happened in the past, but you just have the awareness of it. And one of the things we tend to do is say, oh, I don't want that piece of my life, so I'm going to throw that bit away just to be there in the back of my room. But then when you try and put your life back together, it doesn't always fit, you see. So the thing is you have to accept every part of your life and just become curious about it. And that way when you're present you'll find that your life flows in a much easier way. And the whole purpose of the psychic work that I do is so that you have a greater understanding of yourself and, and that you understand where you are and where you're going. So the whole idea is just to be patient with yourself. And look, a great exercise to do, do your timeline. And then what I've done with the other side, I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to write all the things that are coming for me. So they're all the things I intend to do that I'm going to do to make my life happier. So that's just my little bit of a spiel this week about how you can live and love your life in a much deeper and more connected way. So I'm going to take my first caller now, who is Matthew, and he's in Orlando, Florida. What a great place. How are you, Matthew? <laughs> Hello. I'm doing pretty well. And yourself? You're, I'm yeah. jealous. You're in Australia. Yeah, I'm in Australia. It's um, half past one in the afternoon here on Wednesday, oh, wow. so I think you're Tuesday night there, yeah. So I can tell yeah, you everything Tuesday, that's going to happen American tomorrow. Story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how can I help you, Matthew? How many questions do I get to ask? This is my first time, so I don't know how this works. So I have two oh, well, questions how, I wanted to ask. Two questions? Okay, so first of all, before you ask me the questions, if you don't mind, just give me your birthday, so that helps me yeah. tune in to you. August 25th, 1991. Yeah. And 1991, so it's 20, 28, 30, 35, 3, 5, 8, 8, 10, 15, 6, 7. Yeah, okay. So far away with your questions. Okay. Um, I have been trying to get promotion at my job. I've been trying to move up, and I've been – it's been a year, and I've seen other people get it when I've been doing just as well as them. 
how do you think that's going to happen, or should I go about it a different way? I've heard okay, that so I was about to. I guess yeah. they're recognizing me now that they, that I was about to be recommended next week for for the position. So I'm just wondering, mm -hmm. what do you think might happen with that? Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I feel that you're on the way to this magnificent success, and I feel that what's happening at the moment is you're just in the corridor. You know, there's this thing about waiting. So you're in this waiting phase. But it's interesting when I look at your numbers because you're in a seven-year. So new, we do I do numerology as well with the reading, so it helps me see where you're at. And we go in nine-year cycles with energy. Okay. So you're in a number seven year, and seven years are all about getting on purpose, you know, being on your spiritual purpose, doing the things that give you joy, and also questioning what you're here for. So if, are, you in the, are you in the Navy or? No, no, I'm not. Are you, well, you seem to be in some kind of position that's very um, in authority or IT or something. What's, what's your work? I do tech support. I'm trying to become a coach, and that's yep. what I'm applying for. Okay, yeah, so tech support coach. Because I, I just saw it, um, you know, as that sort of thing, I, I captain. So one of the things, uh, what yeah, I really yeah, feel for you. Yeah, pretty much how yeah. we work. We have, we, live, we have different chain of commands, and it is uh, pretty much, I'm trying to go for the highest like, chain of command. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so the whole thing for you is you have to see it, you have to believe it. I feel it's there. I feel you're almost there. Um, and... You know, you're here in life to learn about your own personal power. And so everything for me is energy. So what we feel, what we see, what we believe. So I see them pinning that sort of medal on you and saying, congratulations, here you go. But at the moment, there's still a part of you that doesn't fully believe it. So you have to move into that state of belief, of self-belief. Okay. And one of the things that I would recommend that you do is pick up a telephone, hit the record button, and just record, I'm Matthew, you know, and I am now the um, chief of command in this amazing job that I do, and I instruct these people, and I have this amazing salary, and, you know, so that you talk about those things in the present tense, but yeah, listen yeah. to it after you've recorded it, because okay. the key will be, if you don't believe it when you listen to it, that's the energy yeah. you're putting out there. Now, I've done this myself in a lot of things when I've wanted to achieve something, and it's something I teach my students as well. But what it does, because energy is everything, so even though you might be the most well qualified for something, if your energy is not behind it, there'll just be a little bit of doubt in your superiors' minds. So the thing for you is start speaking it out loud even now to yourself after this call. Record it, record it, record it, because energy is constantly in flow. So my belief is, you know, what I see is, um, because I always draw cards before the, the show, and if you come back, look at the video, but this is showing a whole new beginning, and it's around personal power, it's around um, occupation. So in the, um, in the tarot card, it's called the, the Ace of Crystals in the Inner Child Tarot, but in the, um, in the tarot, it's the Ace of Pentacles, and that's always about new beginning around business, you know, around money, around finances, but around self-worth and around responsibility. So the thing I feel for you is you've already done the hard work, so allow it to happen, okay? Awesome. And I feel it will be very soon. So Thank what's your you. other I question? Um, I have been with, I've known my girlfriend since we were in kindergarten, and we grew up, yep. we went to high school together, and then we grew apart, and then she was always there wanting to, you know, to you take it to the next level and date. So finally after college, I started dating, and she's very, she's, I love her to death, but I'm 26, she's 26, and she has an ovary problem where the doctors tell her, you know, her, they want her to have a kid. And I just, and, you know, I want to try, start trying, but I just don't know, is it the right time? Like, I don't want to be, be pushed into something because of somebody else's clock, you know. You know, I know we've been. I've known her my whole life, and I love her to death. But I don't know if it's gonna be, you know. I don't know what what could happen in the next year or two. Mm -hmm. so just okay, so th there's a couple of things you said there that I'm just going to pick you up on, okay? Um, <laughs> if that's okay, because that's my job. All right. So okay. you said twice. I love. I love her to death. Yeah. All right. So step back. Um, I, I don't feel it is the right time, and I certainly feel that one of the things you have to work out within each other is the energy of being totally independent and yet together. So that you, because wow. even though I feel, 
Does that make sense to you? And, 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 and you could have hit it. We just we're talking about that. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a really strong time to step back a little bit. Just have a look at yourselves, you know, make sure that you're both very independent, very happy, because each of you have to fulfill yourselves before you can fulfill a relationship. And mm-hmm. one of the th- things I feel, those two things that you said twice, was I love her to death. So she has to be the one that can stand on her own two feet. And in a way, we can overprotect our partners. So I know that you do care about her very much, to step back, allow things to unfold. I don't feel it is the right time right at the moment. I don't feel it's too far away, but I feel that personally in the relationship, you both have a lot of work to do on it, on yourselves. So, you know, get your job first. Build up your own self-confidence. And I feel for you that it's very important for you to be successful at what you do. And I also feel there's going to be travel with what you do as well. So I'm sure that you're not going to be just staying at home, I just feel like I'm going to be going off to, you know, San Diego and off to different places to learn more, to be in conferences, to go and meet other like-minded people. So I feel that you've got to give yourself just a couple more, I think a couple of more years, yeah, um, yeah. and just yeah, allow this to, to actually, you know, take the pressure off both of you. And mm-hmm. for her, one, one thing I would say is get another opinion. And get her to look at her whole being. You know, I find that a very odd statement for someone to make that you, you should have children mm. to fix a medical thing. I feel there's a lot more going on there. So I feel yeah. um, with your partner, um, probably time for her to look at her whole self, and I feel that she's already doing that. So that yeah. she needs to really go within and do some internal work as well. Wow. Well, thank you. I appreciate the information so much. That's okay, and I wish you well. Now, I'm just going to draw one more card before you go, yeah. so I've got these new amazing cards that are called, oh, um, awesome. they're actually called Mother Mary, but they're beautiful cards. And interesting, oh, it's, it's called Our Lady of Starting Over, and when I look at it, she's looking at her heart, and it's really about finding the passion, finding the flame within yourself, so finding that sense of what you're really here to do, you know, to really look at your own individual passions because until you know when you've been with someone from a very young age it can be a little bit difficult to sustain that all the way through life yeah and i know you understand what i'm saying definitely definitely okay matthew i wish you all the very best and i am on facebook susan kennedy spiritual mentor if you want to follow me or send me a message at any time my girlfriend recommended Sorry? I said, that's how I found you online on Facebook. Oh, fabulous. Thank you. I'm so happy about that. <laughs> so lovely to meet you and to talk, and I wish you all the very best. All right. You have a safe rest of your day. Thank you again. Thank you, Matthew. Okay. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now we've got Jean in Alberta, Minnesota, getting to learn yeah. all these amazing places. Hello, Jean. How are you? Oh, I'm all right. That's about okay. it. <laughs> I'm, I'm all right. <laughs> How can I help you today? Um, I have a lot going on. Um, I'm in a relationship, and I'm not living with him or anything. I need to know if this is going to work. <laughs> I got injured March 2nd. I need to know how that's going to come out. It's, it's just a lot going on. A lot of drama. You've got a lot, My car's a lot in the of drama. shop. It, it, I'm ready to fly off the roof. Yeah, okay. So the first thing I get for you is breathe. Okay, and I know that sounds basic, but I feel like I just want to say sit down and just take a breath and look at all the things that you've actually experienced in your life already. Because I feel at the moment you're in overwhelm and I feel that you're sort of thinking everything hinges on on what's going on. So the first thing I think you asked me about was relationship, didn't you? Uh-huh. Yeah. So, so my, yeah, so my feeling with relationship um, with you is that it just seems to be too confusing. I just feel that either there's confusing messages or that um, because as I see it in my mind, and I'm very clairvoyant when I read, my feeling is that you're – are you already separated from someone or has this person turned their back on you or 
Because I feel that there's oh, either been no, a lot of this. No, lot of, we get along great. No? no, we get along great. My ex is gone out of the picture, but no, I've been alone pretty much for. And then there was somebody else I was seeing, but I haven't seen him for like over a year. But I've only been so are you in a, since. Are you in, you're in relationship now? Yeah. Okay, well, honestly, when I, when I tune into it. We're just dating. You're just dating. Okay. So it's yeah. breathe, take it slowly, and know that everything yeah. isn't going to be the way it was in the past. Because I do feel when I tune in that you're thinking about it too much. And I also feel that there's a part of you that always feels disconnected from the men that you're with. And yet That's you're not. That's because of my abuse years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a different relationship. So enjoy it is what I feel. You know, so just, okay. just to sit back and just enjoy the energy of the relationship because I do feel that in this one, this person is completely different to the kind of partners you've had before. So it's causing confusion in your mind, even if you're not aware of it. Because I know when I tuned in, it was like, oh, my God, what's going on here? So it's just to allow it, wreck. you know. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> I said I'm a wreck. We'll put it that way. Yeah, yeah. So and um, did you say that you had some sort of a claim going on? Yes, I do. Yeah, I got injured on March 2nd, and I worked at a factory for 25 years. Something popped in my back, and my first report of injury, it specifically says something popped in my upper back. I found out six months ago I, I herniated a rupture of the disc. They've done everything for me. Now I'm wondering if I'm going to have to have surgery because nothing's working. Physical therapy okay. isn't working. Um, yeah. My epidural injection isn't working. I have my C5 and C6, which herniated at work and which ruptured at work, but they're saying it, it's a personal injury. I have a lawyer. I, I, I'm hoping and praying I win this because I've been there 25 years in a factory. Yeah, yeah. Does that well, my feeling is for you, me? Yeah, my feeling is you will, but there's, there's a part of... Um, so with any healing energy, you have to look at letting go. And I know that when there's a claim, so physically sometimes we don't heal um, energetically when there's a claim going on because there's almost, it's almost like there's an interest in staying in the energy of it. So I do feel, you know, you've got to see the outcome. I feel the outcome is going to be successful for you because, you know, the thing is you've been there 25 years, you're not going to be working for some reason, I feel next March things will be finalised by then. Um, I just want to look at something else. Sorry. I'm just... Um, yeah, so it is. It's about being patient. And what I see is um, it feels around next March that things will get finalised. So in a way, you've just got to learn how to manage yourself in between. Because there is a part of you, there will be a part of you that won't want to fully heal because there will be a thing of, well, if I heal, then they won't see that I've suffered. So energetically um, I just feel that you have to get involved in something that takes your mind away from it to know uh -huh. that the injury has already happened but it is it is repairable is how I feel I feel that you will regain a lot of your um, your movement and your ability to um, do what you want to do but there's a big shift that needs to happen energetically and this is okay. Does yeah, that mean is, that I'm going to have to have surgery because I have nerve damage going on? Yeah, yeah. yeah so I'll just, I'll just share you with you. To, yeah, I'll just yeah. share with you. I've had two discs replaced in my lower back. So no, exactly, not exactly because mine was lower back, not upper. But I do feel you uh -huh. will have surgery, and I do feel it will be successful. Um, but I do feel okay. you're going to have to p participate a lot in your. Um, in your recovery, and yet there's a part of you that won't want to. So this is the thing, what I'm saying. So if you look at it, this is the card that I drew, one of the cards. And when you come back, have a look. So it's, it's a card that says politics, and it's showing a mask that we're wearing. But the other cards were participation. So in other words, getting involved in your healing. And the other one is patience. So you've got to give yourself patience and know that this is all going to happen. But you have to put 100% of your energy behind your recovery. So trust in the people that you're seeing. Um, I do feel oh, I that there is. I am. Yeah. So is my so like comp is trying to cut my benefits. You know, they're trying to say it's not work related, but it happened right there at work. 
Um, we yeah. go to court December 14th. Is that going to be in my favor that they have to continue my benefits? Because you yeah, kind of look, I feel it will be. Yeah, it, it will be in your favor is what I feel. And I feel like your benefits Good. will continue. So this, though, is about, um, yeah, just seeing the outcome, seeing the outcome as positive and recognizing that there's so much. Just give me your date of birth, Jean, if you could. 12-16-1958. Okay, I just want to check something. 10, 18, 23, 20, Oh, interesting. You're the same numbers as I am. You're a 33. So that's a master number. And one of the big things with 33s is we don't often trust. So this is about just trusting in an outcome, looking at the higher picture. What I see for you, this is an opportunity for you long-term to get out of being in a factory for 25 years and that this will open you up to a whole new life. I do feel that your relationship will um, will blossom. I do feel you'll move into something that is a little bit gentler. Um, are you looking at doing something very creative as well? I'm looking at everything. <laughs> well, I'm, look, in, the, in the, the whole secret to it is, is creativity. Um, I feel yeah. that you must be... Are you looking at renovating the house that you're living in as well? Oh. Is there yeah. things around when your I, house? When I, yeah. when I get some more money coming in, right now I'm going belly up with all, everything hitting me at one time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, again, accept responsibility, and I mean that in a, lo in a loving way. You know, just know that this is a temporary situation, that you will be, um, you know, I feel that what you, where you go with things will be very positive for you. And it's really then just becoming resourceful and becoming creative and letting go of any... Uh, yeah, you know, just taking back your power because you're here to be a very powerful person and, you know, I feel do as much as you can around the house or get people to do it. I feel there's a lot being done for you at, at the moment. So just be open to receiving. And I wanted to draw a, um, a surrender card for you because sometimes there's something we've got to let go of. So I've got these amazing surrender cards. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's interesting, and I'm just trying to see where it plays out, because it says surrender comparisons with other people and stand in your own power. So sometimes people can be in your ear saying, well, you know, that person had an injury and this is what happened to them. So just stay away from anything that's negative, anything where people are trying to um, draw you down, and just stay in your power, okay? Just keep working okay. on your mindset. And just keep your eyes trained on yourself. And, again, just see the outcome. And the outcome, every way I look at it, is going to be positive for you because it's going to shift you into a different phase of your life. Now, you are in a 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You're in a two-year this year, which is all about choice. So even where you are at the moment, this is about you making choices as to how you deal with things. So, yes, there's a lot going on, but it's your choice now how you deal with it. Music is very strong for you that if you can use music to your benefit. Um, and I just feel the connection you have with your new person of having that heart-to-heart -heart connection will help you manage this phase of your life. Um, and lastly, I'll give you a Mother Mary card, which is um, these beautiful, beautiful cards. And it says, Our Lady Who Gives Peace. So again, beautiful, beautiful card. So it's, for me, it's about you giving yourself peace and beautiful little egg, um, nest egg there. So I know that there's money coming as well. So look, let go, let God, allow yourself to be um, carried along. And look at this as a great new opportunity. Next year you go into a three year. And three years are all about creativity, they're all about planting new seeds. And I do feel for you this will be a time potentially even of a remarriage and, a, you know, a very strong romance. So it's this time of knowing that even though it's, it's dark at the moment, it is about to change, but your part in that is important as well. Okay. So I wish well, you well. Thank you. That's okay. Thank I wish you, so you well. And, um, okay, thank you, Jean. So that was um, our two callers today, and very interesting energy as always.
when I look back to how we started the show, which is talking about all the different things we've experienced in life and how to be present with ourselves in, in the moment. Because what happens to us is that we've got all this stuff that was behind us. If we go back to when I did my timeline, find the rest of it. So when, when I did my timeline, there's all that stuff that's behind us and it's like a chain, a train that's going along. And what we have to do is know that sometimes all of those thoughts and all those experiences can colour how we think about the future. Now, the way that I changed all of that was to become very present with myself and to do a lot of healing on myself. So I got help. Um, I now know how to do that myself as well. But it's really about being present with yourself and being aware and keep on supporting yourself through stillness, through self-inquiry, through meditation. And, you know, find a great deck of oracle cards to support yourself as well. These beautiful cards, um, which are the Mother Mary ones, and I just absolutely love them so that they, you can, you know, daily support yourself just with a reading for yourself and say, so the reading I'm going to leave everybody with is our interesting, it's Our Lady of Charity. So what I see for that as I leave you for the week is to say, be kind to yourself. Charity begins at home. And charity means I'm kind, I'm giving. So it begins at home. So do what you need to do for yourself. Have a fabulous week. Stay focused on your strengths and on your abilities. And don't let anybody else control your life. This is about your life. It's about you living it and loving it. So I wish you well and I'll see you next week.